Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. It's time for a little deep sensory precognition. Are you ready? Now, this is going to be a little bit of a different type of exploration. Something that I usually do as a practice, but I'm sharing it with you. <laughs> In this game, we get to guess what the true image is on the left side by creating it and giving it details on the right side. Okay. Let's scoot this down a little bit. You can see the URL up at the top if you'd like to try this for yourself. Now, again, we guess what's on the left, which will change in a moment to a gray square. And we guess it and prove it, or see if we have any connection at all, by drawing some details that we sense and writing some details on the right. Sounds simple enough, yes? Okay, let's give it a quick spin and see if I connect. Well, first I'm, I'm gonna give the music a little rest. All right, now let's give it a try. And we're going to reload the page. I feel like there's something rounded going away from going away from I feel like I am looking over it I feel whatever this is it is natural but man made or man sculpted and Yellowish beige. Let's see what we got. So, I don't know about this. I think my shape's way off here. <laughs> Yeah, it's man-made, man-sculpted, yellows, beige, going away, it's a door. Not sure where the round comes in at. So you see, some things connect and some don't. Now when it comes to the sketch, your sketch can be exact or your sketch can be kind of like a translation of what your brain is trying to give you. So for some, they'll get both details correct, the drawing and the details. For some, you get one correct. For some, you don't really consider there being a match or anything, but and then in other cases, you could be seeing things that are around the picture. Here, I just, I don't feel like my drawing connects, but I think my text details for the most part do. So let's try another. Feels like something here, something there. Um, oh, 
holding. I don't know anything better or more basic than floating. Uh, above it. Now, what I'm typing out are just words that I hear in this process. And if you don't have too many distractions, sometimes the words come through very easily. Other times, not so much. Um, so this, what I'm drawing, is kind of a sun kind of thing. <laughs> I'm sure you can see that. All right. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know where I'm going here with this. So what I get is holding, floating above it, drifting. Blues. Brighter light on one side. All right, let's see if I connect it all. So we've got a huge Ferris wheel. Weird. So it's happening at sunset. So we've got holding, so they're little uh, carts that hold people, floating above it, drifting. This is the motion I see. Blues, well, if the sun wasn't going down, the sky would be blue, but it ain't blue now, so that doesn't count. Bad detail, okay. Brighter light on one side. So. Yeah. Interesting. What do you think? Do you think I connected in any way at all? <laughs> Let's jump ahead to the next target. Speed Wet Flowing As in there's a motion here uh, hmm. I don't feel like this is a busy image like there's not like a field of flowers or something. My drawing details, I, I just can't go any further with this. Now once you feel like you've gotten all your details, you pretty much shouldn't keep going, but I just did. Because sometimes you do feel stuff later on. That will sometimes be wrong, at least for me. So let's see what we got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we've got two people walking on train tracks. Speed. Surf and wet. I don't know. Those don't go, obviously. Flowing motion. Not busy. The train tracks are empty. Train tracks are empty, it's not busy. Not a ton of things going on in the shot. So there's a curve. 
Okay. And uh, in a separate part, these look like tracks. Let's try another. I don't know. Do you think I connected at all? Let's try another. 